Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our click three. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, guys. So um, the energy the, of the last reading that I just uh, posted, just uh, posted a little bit ago today, um, you know, called out some type of issue going on with the your ex and the karmic. Obviously, your ex does not like something going on. Something is breaking down. If you have not checked out that video, go back and check it out. You'll understand how we get here in this particular energy because it is a continuation of the energy. So again, if you have not looked at that, it's um, the one that your ex is tired of the karmic. Uh, so that that's the one. So that's the start of the energy, and this is a continuation. But just a little tidbit, um, your ex who's, you know, with this karmic person is just really tired of them and their energy. Something went down, some type of backstab and betrayal. This came out on more than one reading as well earlier yesterday. So if you've not looked at those videos, make sure you do go back and check them out so you can understand how we get here. But how the energy is starting with this particular reading is that Ten of Swords, that backstab and betrayal that I was just mentioning that came out before. Something went down between these two. And in our prior read on, on those earlier videos that I uploaded yesterday, it was a situation where they, the ex, your ex, uh, the karmic masculine, this, uh, your ex, this masculine, realized that the karmic feminine was trying to play them in some way. And they kind of got them back. It was a double cross. It was a backfire. They, your ex double crossed the karmic. And it was like, eh. <laughs> And it's just like, uh, you know, stuff like that happens. Like you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Literally, ten of swords in, in the upright energy. This is a painful ending, backstab and betrayal. There are no honor amongst thieves. If there are two negative energies dealing with each other, they're not trustworthy. You know, they're not trustworthy people. They're not trusting. So yeah, if somebody gets mad at the other, oh, they're, they're not above backstabbing the other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They are not above it. Um, they're not above a whole lot of things, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. But at the same time, there was a Ten of Swords situation in our two prior readings earlier where your karmic uh, ex, as the masculine, backstabbed a karmic feminine. For whatever reason, um, whatever they cheated, they may have done something wrong. I felt something that was dealing with money. I pulled that out of my very last reading as well. So something involving money, um, possibly a child, if there's a child involved. But the your ex was like, oh, you're playing me? I'm going to get you back. That's basically what happened in a nutshell. So this reading is starting out with the Ten of Swords, that backstab and betrayal energy is coming out. Whatever the situation was that happened between those two, somehow it's justice. The universe is saying that's it. That's what you get. <laughs> Yo, I, I don't necessarily know um, the, the exact details. It might have something to do with money, a child, um, cheating. It could be a combination of the three. It could be something totally different. But for whatever reason, your ex backstabbing the karmic was apparently justice. This is the universe calling justice on it. They're like, hmm, yeah, this is what you get for doing that to the collective. Here's your comeuppance. Here's your comeuppance, Karmic Feminine. Here is your payback for backstabbing the collective for when they did nothing wrong to you. The universe is calling justice. Whatever your ex did, the universe was okay with it. <laughs> okay? The universe was okay with it. And this is a confirmation. Ten of, pen, uh, ten of cups in the upright. This is a um, it being very happy, content, wish fulfillment, and unconditional love. Um, I'm really feeling that this has to do with your ex. I don't see you on this board, Collective. Because again, this backstab did not happen to you. This is just recent. This is within um, a very short amount of time that's happened or it will happen in a very short amount of time. But I also am pulling in the energy. It's mirroring what was done to you. Mm -hmm. what, happened to, what happened to the karmic is what, what was done to them is what they did to you. It's called karma. It's, it's the way it happens. And literally the universe calls justice on it. This is quite literally karma. This karmic cannot get away from backstabbing you. They got backstabbed and it was by your ex. Go figure that, right? Who knew they had a little bit of honor in them? I don't know what we would call that honor, but I would just say you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Ten of swords energy. But this ten of cups, I mean, the justice is the universe saying, yeah, that's what you get, karmic feminine. For backstabbing the the collective and doing them dirty and they didn't do anything to you this uh this is resulting in for your ex 
Ten of Cups in the upright. And the very last reading that I put, the Ten of Cups in the inverse came out right next to your ex. Mm -hmm. They were not happy with that karmic. They were not. So now that they did what they did to the karmic, the universe called justice on it. Now they can be happy. Y'all look at that. Y'all see how karma happens? This is why I tell y'all, y'all don't even need to be upset. You don't even need to go round and round in your head about it. You don't need to get any type of revenge. The universe does it for you. The universe does it for you. You don't have to worry about anything. Sit back and watch. <laughs> but at the same time, for your ex, this is resulting in their Ten of Cups that came out on the inverse in my very last read. Their Ten of Cups is now in the upright. They're now getting emotionally fulfilled because the universe called justice on whatever they did. I don't know, you know, like I said, it could have been a combination of all the three things that I pulled in the energy, but whatever it was, the universe was okay with it. Now they can be happy. They can also move on to the four swords and upright energy that also did come out in my very last energy. I also pulled that they want to come talk to you because you came out as the king of wands in the upright. Um, you know, very motivational, inspiring. You're a leader. You're very warm. You're glowing. You have the light of God in you, right, collective? Um, they do want to come talk to you. This three, uh, four swords came out as an energy of peace, meditation, and prayer. And I, I did say on that reading, if they do want to come talk to you, let them know that they need to go into this energy. And here it, here it comes out. They need to pray. They need to meditate. Take some time away from all these swords that are looking at right in this picture. There was a lot of dirt done on both sides, right? They need time to heal. They can, they cannot bring any of that mess over to you because if they're, they were karmic over there, they're going to come karmic to you, right? Collective or back karmic, I would say they need to meditate. They need to heal. They need to pray, you know, call in the most high God and say, Hey, you know, I, I surrender. I'm ready to turn over a new leaf. If that's what they truly want to do, you know, remains to be seen if that's the choice that they, that they make, but taking time away to get in that four swords energy. Uh, time of peace, calm, prayer, meditation, to look at all those swords that were around them, that they threw, you know, they were thrown at them. They, they need to, to meditate. They need to, to get some peace and pray about all the stuff that was going on. This four, uh, four cups energy, or something, not four, seven of cups in the inverse energy is coming out right under this um, ten of swords. They had to see through the fog. They had to see through some illusions. And the videos that I posted earlier today, again, if you have not looked at them, please go back and check them out. The energy was that they realized that the karmic was playing them. So this seven of cups in the inverse energy is realizing what was going on with that karmic. You know, they're playing me. They're, they're trying to, you know, do me dirty. I had to see through some illusions, some fog and some confusion. Seven of cups in the inverse energy. I had to make the right choice. I had to choose to get away from them. I had to choose to Ten of Swords them. Painful ending. They had to do it. They had to make that choice. They had to see through the fog, see through their, their own illusions that I'm really pulling in the energy, their own illusions about who this karmic really was um, to put a painful ending to it. And I got some very specific uh, downloads about these two cards. Um, if they got married, I did pull an energy in a prior reading that this they were heading towards a marriage or a uh, engagement. If that was, if they did get married, they're getting a divorce now. If they did get engaged, that the, that engagement is being called off. Or if it's not either one of those, their relationship is being called off. They're splitting up assets if there were any mutual assets. And that means peace for you. Like I said, this is a dual energy. This Ten of Cups um, means somehow it's mirror. You you and your ex are mirroring each other's energy. Them Ten of Swords in the situation with the karmic means you're both, you're already happy on your own by yourself. You're not even a part of the situation. The universe called justice on that situation for them. Now they're happy too. So it's like you guys are mirroring the same similar situations. Somebody doing them dirty and now they have to go find peace, right? Um, the, the download that I got regarding the karmic situation, they never wanted them. They were very deceitful anyway. So it's like this karmic was going after somebody that was never going to really be committed to them because they were this karmic masculine was deceitful. Um, the download that I got here is uh, thank heaven they saved you um, from this seven of cups in the inverse energy. Thank heaven they saved you. Sing through the fog. Heaven saved this person. And again, the universe is calling justice on it. Uh, the universe saved this karmic masculine from this karmic feminine. Whatever went down, it was to pull them out of the situation, which is why there's that Ten of Swords. Again, heavy on the mirroring. What was happening with them is what did happen to you. You had a painful ending, so did they. Or they gave one, rather, I should say. Um, this backstab woke them up to who they were, um, is what I'm hearing in the energy as well. 
Um, so it's definitely something that is, it is a good thing. It's like seeing through the fog of who this comic really was and you know that backstab that painful ending separating you know ending their relationship however it may have you know um, played out is karmic justice literally karmic justice and this is something that's going to make them very happy i feel like this person had to leave the universe is trying to tell this person your ex to leave this karmic and they just didn't listen they were in the seven of cups in the upright energy in confusion in a fog you know looking at illusions they did not see that the karmic was bad for them. And I'm pretty sure you told them that a bunch of times, Collective. I'm pretty sure you told them, get away from the karmic. They're a bad influence on you. Get away from them. They're really ruining your life. I'm pretty sure you said that. But they didn't want to listen. Somebody finally did. And this is coming to a page of wands in the upright. This is coming to good news. The good news is the universe called justice on this, this painful ending to the karmic situation. This is universe giving the good news that yes, you were supposed to leave the karmic. You were not supposed to be with them. <laughs> you were not supposed to be with karmic. So this is the page of wands and the upright energy. That's the good news. More good news is the world and I'll have the world in the upright now. The world in the upright now is um, being able to close out past cycles, being able to move forward, um, having faith in your future and having success with a new beginning. Somebody's ex is getting a new beginning and this is a blessing. Literally the universe has stepped in for somebody's ex and it was about time they had to leave the karmic in order for this to happen the longer they stayed connected to the karmic they would not have gotten this they would not have gotten the ten of cups they would not have gotten the world in the upright now they also carry the energy of the magician this is all good energy for somebody's ex this is really good energy and again this is actually mirroring you you had to go through these exact same steps when you left your ex so it was like what what you had to go through now they're having to go through it they just did it a little bit later right Apparently, this is exactly what the universe wants because they call justice. They're also carrying the energy of the magician in the upright, having the ability to manifest in a healthy way. Um, you know, they have the ability to co-create with the universe using all the tools and the elements and the resources at their, at their hand. Um, this is someone who is actually able to manifest, able to create a new life, able to move forward with the world in the upright right next to it. They, the, the sky's the limit for this person. All they had to do was leave the karmic who was playing them. So they had to tend towards it. It was a situation to where literally this karmic was stopping them from moving forward in life. And as soon as they make that decision, universe was like, all right, tag us, tag us, we're in. Justice, now you get all these blessings. Y'all see how that happens? And honestly, this is, this is a roadmap to anybody who's tied to some type of karmic, you know, negative situation. As soon as you leave, as soon as you leave, this is when justice kicks in. This is when the universe said, all right, you're done. All right, we're, we're tagging you in next. Now you can be happy. Now you can be happy. All of this is good energy for the, whoever this ex is. All they had to do was put a painful ending to a situation that they were not supposed to be in. A negative, toxic situation. A karmic situation. You know, so let it be a reminder. If you ever get stuck in those situations, put an end to it. The universe will respond. It's universal law. How that, how That's how that works. Confirm what, uh, what's uh, happening up here. The Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Getting a, a big uh, offer of some sort. It's either getting or getting a big offer of some sort. Um, I feel like this is somebody getting this offer because it's right under this putting a painful ending to something that was justice for it to happen. Sing through the fog. Now they're able to get God's blessing. And I'm, I'm calling this out because for you, Collective, you were able to get God's blessing in your situation because you separated from your ex that was in toxic karmic energy, right? The Ace of Pentacles was for you. The Pentacle can represent some type of um, finance, security, and stability, something tangible, something that you can touch, right? But it doesn't always have to be. Um, I, For you guys, I saw it as God's promise to you, however that shows up in your life, whether it's a new relationship, new job, new business, promotion, whatever, putting that love and you know that, that light of God in you a lot of you became hierophants and became spiritual leaders. Whatever God's promise is to you to have a new life, a new beginning, that's what this person's getting. They're getting they're getting the same thing as you. This is beautiful, y'all. Somebody's ex is really going through the steps that you went through. I really feel a mirroring energy in this. And I'm hearing your magic. You are magic. <laughs> Somebody's magic with this magician energy. But, you know, this does not apply to everybody's ex. So I do not want to get everybody excited. This is somebody's ex who's mirroring the same healing steps, the same blessings that you had to go through. You had to leave them. They had to leave the karmic. Now look at, look, if you think back, Collective, 
the universe called justice. You were able to be happy. You had to take time to recuperate. You had to see through some confusion and fog. You got good news that you can get a new being, beginning and you were the one that's going to create it. You, the magician. Then you were able to get God's blessing. You're being blessed. You're being abundant. You're happy. You're manifesting things. You are in your new life, right, Collective? Somebody's ex is mirroring you. This is a mirroring effect. This is what I'm getting. But God's blessing, however it shows up in that particular life, they will be able to start to manifest that again with the world and the magician energy. Coming up right next to it, I have the three of pentacles in the inverse, which is where it kind of gets a little bit weird. But whatever it was, the three of pentacles is somebody being, being in their ego and not a team player. You know, um, after this ace of pentacles here, it's this is a letting go. This is a letting go of an energy. It's like if you take God's promise, this is what you're letting go of. This is what you're going to let go of. Being, you know, in your ego, not being a team player. This is also falling under the energy of good news and the universe calling justice. Letting go of this three of pentacles energy is a part of God's promise. Also, coming up right next to that is the five of swords in the inverse. Having to accept defeat, you know, having to walk away from um, a battle in defeat and having to accept that this person lost and it's right next to the empress in the inverse. This is the karmic uh, feminine that I was talking about. Told you this ten of swords had to do with somebody's ex's karmic. This ex was tired of this karmic feminine. And they're just like, chucking the deuces, I gotta go. <laughs> you know what I mean, collective? This five of swords in the inverse energy is this karmic uh, feminine having to walk away from defeat, having to acknowledge that they lost. They lost, they lost this masculine, they lost. They lost to you because you stepped away, you leveled up, you have a new life that you are loved, you're abundant, you're happy, you have no need to go back and forth with this karmic feminine. You're not on that time, you're above her. Quite literally, you're above her, right? This karmic feminine carries the energy of the empress in the inverse. They're not fertile. They're not abundant. They're not prosperous. They're not loving. They're not caring. They're somebody who just is a leech. You know, very, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to say uncaring. But they just don't care about anybody, not even themselves. They give their self-value away. They give their self-worth away. They, they usually find themselves attached to people who can provide for them and do for them because they cannot produce and uh, be ab abundant and fertile for themselves. So this does give me the energy of a gold digger. Somebody's ex got rid of a gold digger. I and mean, we continue to see that energy come out for the karmic uh, feminines in the situation. Somebody got rid of their karmic feminine who is a gold digger. Good. Because this, <laughs> this is the universe saying good. <laughs> That's what they were supposed to do. But yeah, this karmic feminine is going to have to accept that they lost. They, they just lost this masculine. The universe is saying that's what was supposed to happen. You were not supposed to stay, stay attached to that karmic uh, masculine. Now they need to heal. Now it's time for them to heal and get their blessings and create a new life. The, the life that God intended for them, not the life that this uh, karmic feminine intended, right? So this is all really good energy for somebody's masculine ex. This is really good. And this is honestly what you really hope for that somebody does go through. This is not for everybody's situation, so I don't want to get anybody confused, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so universe called justice on them, uh, Ten of Swords, in, uh, putting a painful ending to this karmic situation over here with this karmic feminine who was, um, you know, definitely a leech and a gold digger. So, but look at all these blessings. This is really, really good energy. But again, I feel like it mirrored what you had to go through. You know, so, you know, regardless of whether you want to take this person back, whether you're even entertaining a conversation with this person at all, ever, what somebody's ex is dealing with is exactly what you are dealing with. A painful ending that they had to go through the universe saying that's what was supposed to happen. Now you can be happy. Now you can heal. Now you're about to get God's blessings and you can create a new life, right? Either way you look at it, it's a good thing. Do they have to come back to you with all this? No. If you don't want that person to come back, that is your prerogative. You do what makes you feel safe and what makes you feel happy. Um, you know, when it comes to the messages that the Most High has been giving, uh, especially this week, is all about healing. So, you know, being happy for somebody who's getting some healing finally is exactly what you want. But do they have to heal with you? No. Everybody has free will and they can make that choice. Right, Collective? Let's go ahead and get a Mystical Oracle card so we can help our energies move forward. Card 34, Abracadabra. All right, let's see what that says. Rising from a kingdom of skyscrapers, a giant woman glows in the cityscape. She is tall. She is so tall she can touch the stars all around her. With her magic wand, she coaxes the future from the constellations. There is such order in the universe and in the golden ratio of Natalis shell or patterns of the starry night. 
we can unlock the secrets of the universe. We are all magi magicians in our own lives. Exactly. If somebody's ex is finding out or about to find out that they're the magician in their own life. They don't have to be stuck in, in seven of cups in the inverse energy, stuck in somebody's illusion, confusion, and fog. They don't have to be. They have the world in the upright. They can actually move forward and have a successful new beginning and create with the magician energy, whatever life that they want. And this is a blessed by God. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. This is God's promise to them too. Let's go ahead and get a divine or nature oracle card and we'll wrap up our reading. Card six, rewild your life. All right, let's see what this says. The wild isn't just a place out there. It's also a place in here. You are related to elk and deer, butterfly, hummingbird, bison, gazelle, and tiger. The mountains live in your bones, the rivers in your veins, wildfires, wildflowers grow along the chambers of your heart. You weren't born to pay bills and die, distracting yourself with the secondary satisfactions of house, car, and a happy hour. The time has come to unplug from your current matrix and rewild your life. Your mind is a savanna teeming with running wildebeest. Your heart is an ocean full of mighty whales and splendid dolphins. Your soul is a forest full of stories the moon whispers late at night to. Indulge your own nature and rewild your life. That's exactly what this person's about to do <laughs> with this magi uh, magician in the upright energy and the world in the upright. This person has the magician energy, abracadabra, and they're about to rewild their life. God bless you for whoever, whoever this is. It's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.